Good day Grade Tens. Welcome to our next lesson in Euclidean Geometry. Today we're going to be talking about congruent triangles. Now again, this is something that I'm pretty sure you would have covered in your previous grades, but I think it is very good always to reinforce it, and if you haven't learned it, don't worry, we're going to teach you now. So let's look at it. First of all, what we're going to be doing is looking at, whoops, I went forward one. We're going to be looking at the different properties that give you congruent triangles. So the first one is if all three sides of the triangles are are equal in length. If What does congruence mean before we do that? What congruency means is that if I took this triangle over here and I shifted it over and put it on top of that triangle, it would cover that in triangle totally, completely. And if I did that the other way around, then this triangle would cover it totally, perfectly. We don't mean flip it over. We don't mean to take it and swap it. We're taking this and sliding it across that triangle. Then we say those two triangles are congruent. They are perfect. And one of the conditions for congruency is side, side, side. Or as we draw it, we go S, S, S. And that is if all three sides of the triangle are equal in length in order. So if I had to draw another triangle here, okay, let's call this A, B, C, and I drew this like this, like this, and like this, do you see that in order for this to be congruent with that, it would be D, E, F, I would have to take it in the same order. So can I go single line, double line, triple line? I can, I can, I can go single line, double line, triple line. So it doesn't have to look exactly the same as long as in order, I can go from single line, double line, triple line. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent. Now let's look at another one. If you've got side angle side, where you've got two sides and an in closed angle, then they are congruent. And again, we would write this as side, angle, side. So this is another case for congruency. And let me just draw something else again for you guys over here. If I had that this side was equal and that side was equal, but my dot was here, then that is not congruent. It has to be, first of all, an enclosed angle. Okay, it has to be an enclosed angle. So it's side, angle, side, side, angle, side. Right, let's look at another one. The next one case is two angles and a side are equal. And again, it has to be in the same order. So you've got two angles and a side. So that would be angle, angle, side. So let me give you an example of what it's not congruent. So if I drew another triangle, and I cut it in this, and I made this the circle with a cross, but then I said this was equal to that. Then these aren't equal to each other, and therefore they are not congruent. So it's two angles and a side, but, so we've got open circle, closed circle, line here. So if I had to draw another triangle, where I had open circle, closed circle, line. Even though they don't look like it, these two triangles are congruent because we've got open circle, closed circle, line, open circle, closed circle, line. So therefore, those two would be congruent, but they are not congruent to the two black and white triangles. Right, next ones. Obviously, if you've got right angle apart new side, and this, this side is equal to this side, and the hypotenuse is equal to this, and these two triangles obviously are going to fit into each other, and therefore they, we say they are congruent. So it's right angle hypotenuse side, and our shortcut for that, our short, short way of writing is this RHS. Okay, so those are our different states of congruency. Let's just go through them again. We've got quickly, there's side, side, side side angle side where the angle has to be included, two angles on a side, and right angle how about new side. So now let's do an example. Are these two triangles congruent? If so, under what conditions? So the triangles we're talking about are triangle ABC and triangle ECD. So we already can see that they've given us that this line EC is equal to AC we also know 
that BC is equal to CD. And now we have to think about what we've learnt about lines and angles. And what we've learnt is that if you've got two straight lines, the angles opposite each other, vertically opposite each other, are equal. So let's have a look at this. Can I go single line, angle, double line? Yes, I can. Can I go single line, angle, double line? Yes, I can. So therefore, these two triangles are congruent. But now you've got to be very careful when you write these out. So what we would say is we'd have in triangle. I'm going to prove it for you now. In triangle, and let's go in the order that we want to go. We're going to go A, C, B. So we've got in triangle A, C, B, and triangle. So we've gone single line, angle, double for A, C, B. So we're going to go single line, angle, double, same order. We're going to go in triangle E, C, D. Right, so what do we know? We know that A, C equals E, C. A, C equals E, C. And how do we know that? Because it was given. They gave us that information. Then we've got CB is equal to CD. So we've got CB is equal to CD. Why? Because it was given. Okay. And then finally, we have got angle ACB. ACB. ACB is equal to angle ECD, equal to angle oopsie, ECD, and why? Because they are vertically opposite angles. They are vertically opposite angles. So therefore we can say, therefore we can say that ACB, triangle ACB, is congruent. And the way we write congruent is for three straight lines. So it's like an equal sign with another line. Triangle ECD. And please note, we have to make sure that we are writing these in the same order. So again, one single line, angle, double line, single line, angle, double line. And the reason would be side, angle, side. Okay, not too bad here. Right, let's look at another example. It says, are these two triangles congruent? And if so, under what conditions? So the two triangles we're talking about are obviously this top triangle here and this bottom triangle here. And we've been given that angle, this angle A equals that angle A. That angle B is that angle equal to Z. So obviously, because all the angles in the triangles are supplementary, we know that this angle equals that angle. But that doesn't help us because it's not one of the possible properties of congruent triangles. Angle, angle, angle gives us a similar triangle situation, but it doesn't give us a congruent. But have a look at this. This line here, AC, is in both the top triangle, ABC, and it's in triangle ADC. So let's have a look at this. So we can say in the triangle, and I'm going to go from the dot to the angle that we've got to the unknown. So I'm going to go ABC in triangle ABC and triangle ADC. ADC. A, angle A equals angle A. How do we know? Because it was given. Okay, nice and easy. We also know that angle B equals angle D because it was given. And now we need to think about this. And we know we can't have a third angle, but we can have a side. And if we say, well, AC is equal to AC because it's common, it's the same in both triangles, we therefore have triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. And why? Because we've got angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. There you go. So these two triangles are congruent and the property, the conditions are angle, angle, side. 
Right, grade tens, you need to go learn the conditions for congruency. If you don't know your conditions for congruency, you won't be able to prove your congruency, and then it's going to be very difficult for you to do well in your Euclidean geometry. Please go learn it. Right, have a great day. Bye.